good morning students dear students happy to meet you all after a very long break hope you are enjoying your break time and again time makes us learn new things to adapt to the current situation as a teacher my passion to share my learned knowledge has made me to sit before you in this webinar to share my knowledge in a very different teaching learning process hope you all will adapt to this present situation and enjoy your learning process although nothing can replace the physical presence of a teacher and the classroom activities literature has given anecdotes to prove that virtual teacher and virtual classroom will teach with the same potentiality it is true when we read the story of ekalai ekalai considered dronacharya as his virtual teacher and learned the lessons taught by him to arjuna still he over learned the art of archery that dronacharya learned the rest is the history today time has made everything virtual our transactions our purchases our daily activities have become virtual and quite naturally the classroom and the class teacher to have become virtual today as a virtual teacher i am here to teach you phonetics hope you will enjoy the course in this new learning process if you like the course or uh, you have any doubts please post it in the comment box as you all know your valuable comments will help me to improve my presentations in future good luck remain home remain safe keep learning learning is live thank you good morning students coming back to our lesson phonetics in this class i am going to take the introduction to phonetics introduction to phonetics is a complex structure so i have broken this complex structure into three simple blocks with many subdivisions so i have broken this sim three uh, this structure into three simple blocks with the titling with giving and uh, having the title introduction organs of speech and airstream mechanism each title each block have some subdivisions for example the introduction has two subdivisions linguistics and phonetics organs of speech has four subdivisions respiratory system phonetic system articulatory system and articulators airstream mechanism has three subdivisions pulmonic airstream mechanism glottalic airstream mechanism and valeric airstream mechanism so this is the introduction to phonetics and we will see what is the course outcome of this unit so after learning or uh, listening to this uh, lecture you will know what is linguistics what is phonetics and in organs of speech what are the organs of speech producing the speech sounds and what are the organs involved in producing the speech sounds speech sounds and the terminologies related to the oral anatomy and the type of articulators and the functions of articulators in the third block you will know the three types of mechanism involved in producing the speech sound you will also come to know the functions of each speech sounds mechanism let's start our course as all you know that any language plays a vital role for communication 
However, certain communications are possible even without a language. For example, when a dog barks and informs its master about the approach of a stranger, and a child informs its mother about its hungry by crying. In both cases, the language, the verbal language is not used, but communication is made to the third person. Any language, as we saw in the earlier slide, is used for communication. It is used also to write. Historians say the medium of speech came first before writing. So written language is only used to represent in a paper, in any paper. So, when it comes to written language, the alphabets of any language have a particular sound which is unique to that language. Two, so study of such sounds in any language is called linguistics. But then what is phonetics? So, phonetics is a branch of linguistics which talks about the medium of the such speech sounds. What is What does it mean, the medium of speech sound? The study of medium of speech sounds is phonetics. So what does it mean really? It simply means how sounds are produced, how sounds are transmitted, how sounds are received. So study of sounds, study of the production of sounds, the study of transmission of sounds, study of reception of sounds, that is human sound, is called phonetics. So linguistics talks about study of sounds in the language. Phonetics talks about the study of the production of such sounds. This is the basic difference between linguistics and phonetics. In next lecture, we will talk about the organs involved in producing and transmitting these sounds in language. Thank you.